So, welcome to another episode. Today, I get to talk about two of my favorite old school Turbo Graphics games, Turbo CD games. And they both share something in common, and that is terrible, terrible dubbing. You won't believe it, I, I swear to God. These are like the worst dubbed games of all time. They are Final Zone 2 and Last Alert. Here we go. So when I first got my TurboGrafx CD-ROM system, I didn't have a lot of games and there wasn't a lot of games out. There was Ease and a couple other games. In the next few months, we got a few more. We got Last Alert and we got Final Zone 2. So I quickly went to the store to buy these. Let me explain a little bit how these games play out. They're basically shooters, overhead shooters, and they kind of play like Commando or Akari Warriors, if anybody's played those games. Gameplay in these games isn't really defining, uh, you know, it was, it's not really amazing. Even back in the day, you could power up your weapons and stuff like that, or you couldn't last alert. But both games are very, uh, you just go through wave after wave of enemies shooting them. There's, there's, it's not very hard either. Both games are very, very easy to beat. So that gets boring, but what's kind of interesting about these games is they all have anime, you know, cut sequences, which back then, they looked amazing. Looked amazing. Didn't sound amazing. I'm going to get into the dubs in a bit. But for Last Alert, the storyline was you play as Guy Kazama and you come out of retirement basically to take down Dr. Garcia, you know, just the evil guy in the world. And man, the storyline is atrocious. It's, it's really bad. It's so bad that it's funny. It's so bad that it's funny. Now I think I'll talk a little bit about the dub. The dub. Wow. Um. It's got to be the worst dub I've ever heard in a video game, hands down. It is incredibly bad. I, I swear, they just went to 7-Eleven and hired, you know, people who were randomly going in there. Hey, like, do you want to do a voice? They brought this person in to do a voice, and that was it. And they would only do it on the first take. I swear to God. Listen to some of this. Please listen to some of this. I am sorry that I'm doing this to you, but please listen to this. I have received information about a CIA dog, Guy Kazama, who assassinated a member of the Force Project, Colonel Kadak. He intends to enter the martial arts tournament you host every year to uh, kill you, Mr. Lee. Really? Well, that's interesting. So we plan to present you with three of the toughest fighters. By the way... Dr. Garcia, how is the development of your ultimate weapon, Indra, coming along? <laughs> yeah, it uh, should be completed uh, within a month. As I say, it's absolutely horrible, horrible voice acting. It's, it's unfathomable. But that's what makes both of these games so incredible, is their voice acting is so horrendous that they've become so memorable for that. You know, other Turbo games have come and gone, but people remember Last Alert and Final Zone because they have such terrible dubs. Isn't that strange? Now, Last Alert does a lot of things that are really good as well. Uh, it has 23 levels, so there's a lot to go through. Will you finish the game fast? Yes, for any modern player, you'll get through it in you know a couple of hours. That's about it. But you get to see the good storyline in there, you get to see the, the funny dubs and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, what can I say? Guy Kazama has got to be one of the greatest characters in any video game. He's Rambo. He's an anime Rambo in a, in a, in a shooting game. And back then in 1990, that was unbelievable. So that's why, you know, Last Alert is pretty awesome. So here we go with Final Zone 2. I'll explain a little bit about this. Released by Telenet in Japan, 1990, overhead shooter. Kind of like, you know, Last Alert, not doing anything too different. Just you're blasting through wave and wave of enemies. There's only seven levels though, so it's very short. 
what do we got going? We got cinemas, cinemas that are okay looking for the time, but we have again fantastic voice acting. Listen to a little bit of this. You won't believe it again. So, only six of us survived. Oh, oh. Here come the rebel army soldiers. There's no damage on the weapons. Let me show them some fancy action now. Oh my god. Yeah, it's it's fantastic. So something else wonderfully hilarious about Final Zone 2 is it's been 17 years, but me and my friends still talk about the opening song of this game. It is so horrible. It is so unfathomable that they actually created this, but they did. A song where they talk about, you know, bazookas and explosions, like the t stereotypical thing in 1990 that you would sit down, you know, at a development studio and say, okay, we need to create a, you know, a song, an opening song for the shooting game. It is so stereotypical, the kind of lyrics they created for this, and it's just horrible. It's just horrendous. Now I feel bad, you know, I'm I'm not ragging on these two games. I love these two games. I grew up on these two games. These were the first few games I got for the Turbo CD back in the day. But man, like, I actually would invite my friends over just to listen to the terrible voice acting. Me and my friends would just laugh hysterically at that. It didn't matter if the game was any good at that point. The voice acting was so outrageous. And also, you know, just the music. The music in the games were good, actually. As I said, in Final Zone 2, there was this, you know, opening song that was so outrageous, and there was this a song that played mid-level with this woman singing, and it, that was so out of place. These games were so surreal at the time, coming from cartridges, that I think they just made a lasting impression on anybody who played them back then, and uh, anybody who has played them back then, this video is for you, and for any of you guys, which will probably be, be like 95% of you guys, you know, who've never played this game, I apologize for making you listen to this terrible voice acting, but I definitely wanted you guys to hear about Final Zone 2 and Last Alert. I just wanted you to know about these games. I wanted somebody, you know, to, to actually hear about them because nobody ever talks about them. So hopefully you got a kick out of it, guys. Until next time.